How many of you have already searched the web for the perfect project with the CX500? I am sure many of you did. And me too. As I said already in previous episodes, this rear frame structure was always the big problem with this model. It is the feature that is a big influence in the overall look of a cafe racer project. But recently, I found out that there is another. It is not an easy one. But not so difficult either. One of those things that is right in front of our eyes. And we still don't see it. But this Honda will demonstrate it. And I am not referring to the rear. This time, it is about the front. Welcome to Racer TV. I have a confession to make. I saw this project on the web several months ago. I always found it interesting. But somehow, I thought it was lacking something. Until I found what was missing. Only my attention. When every single day we see so many different projects, it is normal not to give the right attention to some machines. And this was one of them. How did I discover that? By seeing it alive and kicking, on the timers event. It is really a beautiful motorcycle. In fact, it has beauty enough to be photographed without the beautiful and sexy model. This machine came from Classic Way Atelier in Portugal. They made a very nice job in every level. Looks clean, exclusive, and simple. I love the discreetness of the colors and materials, contrasting with the big letters on the gas tank. Because it is not an obvious choice. And it worked brilliantly. If you are looking for a very good approach with a Honda CX, but without major changes on the rear of the frame, this is definitely an example worth following. And why? Why this CX500 seems to look better than most. This project made me realize that there's a subtle thing that makes a huge difference in this model. And here's the answer. The upside down forks. If you look carefully, the standard Honda CX500 looks wider and shorter than most motorcycles. This is why the factory front end looks too thin. But these front forks solve this problem. It makes everything look more proportional, not to mention modern. And before you ask, this front end came from a Suzuki GSXR, including the wheel and brakes. But I must say that the design of the rear also makes justice to the rest. A simple tubular structure with a perfect rounded seat cowl. Not too long and not too short. Just perfect. Like I said earlier, it is not an easy project. And not so difficult either. But with some inspiration and creativity, the final work becomes a reality. Thank you for watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you next week.